Hey everyone, it's Dina. I wanted to do a video to show you how you can use the Flexi Shapes in Silhouette Studio and then send that from Silhouette Studio directly to the Silhouette 3D software, create a cookie cutter from that shape, and then get it ready to print. So let's get started. So what you see here on the screen is the Silhouette Studio software that you would use to create like a, a car decal or a stencil for decorating cookies or painting a design on your wall or whatever. Um, so that's where we're beginning. Now I do want to say that I am using a beta version of 4.4 so if there are some things in the screen that you don't see on yours then that may be a reason. I'm also currently using the business edition of the software. Um, but you should be able to do this in the free version as well. So on the left hand side is the toolbar and you'll find the flexi shapes there underneath the square icon right above the pencil. And when you hover your mouse over this, the flexi shape icon, you get a fly out menu and you can choose whatever shape that you want. For today's purpose, we're going to use the star. And once you choose that shape, you're just going to come over to your design area and just draw that shape. And when you're finished, press the escape key or come over here to the left side and click on that top arrow on the top toolbar and that will disable the drawing function. Um, you can click on it again if you want to make an adjustment to it. Maybe you want to draw those inner points and make the arms of the star a little bit longer. Maybe you want it a little bit chunkier. You want some more surface area in the star. It's your choice on how you want to make that. Um, when you are ready to size it and get it ready for your cookie cutter, um, you have to keep in mind the size of the all to print bed. And there's a great tool in this software that can help you for designing your cutters in the other software. And what you want to do is go to the page setup panel and change it from whatever it may be on, um, such as mine, Auto Cameo 3, that's the last machine I used, and change that to Alta. You can see that there is an Alta option. What that's going to do <clears throat> is give us that round bed size and we know that our design needs to be within that area. So I need to make this a little bit smaller. Okay. <clears throat> so now you can see that the star fits on the bed. So what I'm going to show you is how to create a cookie cutter and then send it directly from this software to the Alta software. So one thing I don't know if you noticed, when I changed the Alta bed, there is a little button up here on my standard toolbar that shows a S3D um, icon. If you right click on the Alta bed, there's also a send to S3D. So those are the tools that we're going to use. We're going to say that we want a three inch shape for our cookie cutter. So what we want to do is highlight the design that we have on our workspace and go up to the scale options on the quick access toolbar. You can see my mouse is circling it here. And you want to lock the ratios. That way everything is proportionate and kind of changes together. And we want to take the largest size and make that 76.3 which is um, three inches in the millimeter sizings. Okay, so 76.3 millimeters is three inches. Now what we want to do is on the right toolbar we want to go find our double star to open up our offset <clears throat> and we're going to create our first offset and we're going to change that offset to be five millimeters. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're creating our handle of the cutter. So I'm not going to create any duplicates or anything at this point. Um, this is a little bit of an advanced functionality. You're going to use some keyboard shortcuts and we're going to duplicate this inner line right here. 
So what I want you to do is select that inner line, then press and hold the Alt key on your keyboard, and then just click on it one time. And what that's going to do is create a duplicate of that line. Now what we're going to do is go up and we're going to change the line color to black so that we know that we're working with that line color. <clears throat> and we're going to create our offset. And we're going to say that it's going to be 0.8 millimeters for our cutter. So now it doesn't look like it. I'm going to zoom in here. <clears throat> it doesn't look like it, but now you can see that we have our red lines and then our black lines. I'm just going to undo that there. And then I'm going to zoom back out. <clears throat> <coughs> so the lines are there. If you trust me on this, using that Alt and then click is just an easy way to duplicate that shape in that exact same position. There's no need to make extra copies and then try to center. Um, like I said, a little bit of an advanced function, but it gets you exactly what you need. Now here's the next fun thing that I'm going to show you. You're going to go up here on the toolbar and you're going to choose the select by color option. And you can see that it's going to show me the line color by default and there's the red and the black. So that's how, you, um, again, you can tell that you have those um, lines in those different colors there. What this enables you to do is select both of those lines without adjusting them or moving them. And then you can also fill it with color if you want to. And then you can work with it in any way. And what I just did there is a keyboard shortcut of Control E to make a compound path. It's the same thing as a right click and then choosing compound path or make compound path, excuse me. All right. We're going to do the exact same thing with the red. This time we'll right click, make compound path. Okay, <clears throat> so now we have our handle, which is our red, and then our cut edge, which is our black. We're going to now send this directly to the Silhouette 3D software. Right click, send to S3D, select extrusion. Give it a little bit of time to uh, um, open. Don't mind this. I actually don't have a Silhouette Alta machine. <laughs> um, so it's probably going to bother me to, to register that until I do decide to get one, if I ever do. All right. So now what you see here is the Silhouette 3D software. You can see that the desi design is now directly in the middle of the build plate, and that's why it is um, easy to design in Silhouette Studio using that bed or that matte shape of the Silhouette Alta because you know you're always going to be within that design space. The only thing it doesn't account for is the skirt. So just, um, you know, when you go to print that, if you have the skirt option selected, that might give you an error message that you're outside of the print area. Um, but I think as long as you design within that bed space, then you should be you should be good to go. <clears throat> and we're almost there. The next step that we want to do is right click on this design and select ungroup because what we want to do is change the extrusion height for our design because right now this is a pretty thin cutter. Um, <clears throat> you can see that it, it doesn't have any height to it at all. So once you ungroup that, select that blade, go up to your height, type in your value, press enter, and then repeat the same thing for the handle. Select the handle, go up to the height value, key in your value, press enter, and then make sure that you group everything again at the end, right click, group. That way you're printing everything together as one piece when you get ready to slice it <clears throat> by going up here in the upper right corner to 3D print. And we'll wait for it to open that up. It's slicing the model.
and there's our model. We're zoomed in just a little bit there, but you can see there's my skirt. This is what I was talking about, so um, just make sure that that is within your print area and you should be good to go. Once everything's ready, make sure that you select the profile and then send it to your printer. And I hope you guys have found this helpful. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to leave a comment below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like this content, feel free to subscribe. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.